Hello everyone and welcome back to RC Fun and Games. Today we are finally going to continue the upgrade series on the awesome CR-18 Pro Evo. This little rig has been awesome. Me and my son have really enjoyed taking this thing out on the trail. It has been so much fun. Genuinely, this has got to be one of the best rigs on the market at the moment. I really, really like it. Okay, and we are going to be installing these awesome blue anodized aluminium oil-filled shocks from RC All-Wheel Drive. And I'm really looking forward to installing these. I've had these now for a while and I've been meaning to do this upgrade series, but my health once again has taken a turn for the worst. So I've had to rest until I feel better so I can continue making content. Anyway, I'm feeling a little bit better and it's time I stop talking and time to get stuck in to doing some work on this awesome rig. So let's get it off the lift here. Okay, so let's see what we get inside the packet with these shocks. So we get some really cool stickers. I've got to say that is pretty awesome. And the quality does feel really good on the stickers. Let's see if they stay stuck to the vehicles or if they also peel off like the Enjora ones. So we get that. Looks like we get a harder set of springs to go on the shocks. And like I've mentioned, all the hardware looks like it's sitting in here. So let's get one of these shocks out. Let's have a good look at one of these. And as you guys can see, the quality is awesome. I can already tell that feels really cool. Okay, the springs are definitely quite stiff, stiffer than I thought they were going to be. I wish the Endura shocks were a bit stiffer like these. This actually feels really nice. Now, okay, the first thing I notice as well is that this is part of the ball joint at the end. You can't take the cup off to remove your spring. So if you want to remove your spring, I'm assuming you've got to loosen the bottom piece completely off. So, yeah different to what I'm used to. Let's get this off. Let's see if there's any oil inside this shock. There's definitely oil in there. It can definitely do with a bit more. As you can see, it has got oil, but it's right down at the bottom. And clearly there's also a lot of air trapped in here. So we're going to fill this up. Being that the rig is not too heavy and the springs are quite tight, I'm going to go for the 200 CPS 19 WT oil I've got at home. I'm gonna try and run this. If I don't like the way it runs, I will end up changing it to a different oil, but it looks like the oil they've got in here is extremely thin. So let's get a little bit more in here. It only took two drops, so it's not like it was empty, but then the shocks are tiny, so I didn't expect it to take a lot. I'm just going to wait a bit for the bubbles to come out, so that I don't trap any air inside the shock. Okay, I've got to say that these are quite tricky to fill. The fact that you can't get the spring off, besides loosening the ball joint at the bottom here, is actually quite annoying because you're constantly fighting. Not just that, there is no bladder on the inside of the cap. There is just an o-ring around the edge. So to try and put these together without having any air inside is quite tricky. But I'm going to try again. So I'm going to add one drop of oil again. I definitely lost my oil. And I'm going to try this again. Okay, now let's see. It feels a bit better than the original but I'm not quite happy with how fast it's moving. The spring is very hard and I think we might actually benefit from a thicker oil in here. So I'm just gonna do another one and we are gonna check it with the thicker oil. We're gonna try a 650 CPS 51 WT and see if that feels any better than this one I just did now. I've got to say these are really tricky to do. They have not made them easy. So. Let's get this one open. Okay, this one looks like it's got even less oil than the last one. This one's got no oil in it. That's fine. Let's throw...
Okay, now that we've got it nice and full, try and put our cap on. Okay, this guy up. Okay, this one you can definitely feel with the 51WT oil, it's got a much slower motion than the other one, and it does feel a lot better than this to me. This one is a bit softer, but I do prefer the feel of this one. It's just got a better action. So I'm gonna remove the oil from here and I'm gonna be putting 51WT in all of them and we'll see how that runs. If it is too thick and everything, I will end up going back to the 19WT. The quality does look good. I'm not 100% happy with the way they are built, but they'll definitely dampen the motion on a small little rig like this. So I'm not disappointed. They do look really cool. We can't complain about the look. So let's get them all filled up and I'll be right back to install them on the truck. Okay, now that I've got all four shocks filled up nicely and I'm happy with the way they feel, these are definitely tricky to set up, but basically just fill it up with oil and make sure the shaft is fully compressed when you tighten the cap on. Let all the excess oil push out and it ends up perfectly. There's no air lock inside. It moves nicely. It's got a nice smooth motion and it's slowing it down just enough so that when you're on the trail, you're probably going to notice less rolling from the vehicle as I was struggling with the original shocks because they're very bouncy and it does like to lift wheels. Now, let's get the hard way open and let's see exactly what parts go where so we can figure this out. Let's get this open. Okay, clearly they provide us with some springs that seem to be harder than the springs that are originally in here. Ah, come on. Okay, so they provide us with lots of extra springs. These are extremely hard. These are softer, so I'm assuming these could actually be softer than the ones that are on you, and these are definitely harder. So we'll leave these to one side. I'm not going to be changing them. We'll have to check that in the future. Let's see what else do we get in here. Okay, looks like we get three different size ball joint ends. One, two, and three. Let's see if I can show you. Let me put them down here on the table so you can see them. Okay, and as you can see, you get three different sizes. So I'm assuming the short one is gonna go in the bottom part of the shock. The long one with the longest spacer is gonna go in the top side of the shock. And I'm guessing this one is gonna replace what is inside the link at the bottom right now. So let's get these two installed. Just one of these little o-rings and slide it over okay once you get it there slide it down to the other side okay now you've got it sitting like that you can put it through your shock and now comes the tricky part which is trying to fit it to the outer ring while it's on the shock and these are very tight so gee Okay, those are tricky to get on, but if your fingers aren't as big as mine, you'll probably find it easier, but that's how it's gonna end up on the top. So let's get the bottom one in. So repeat the process again with the O-ring. Just slide an O-ring over the one side. Okay. Uh, I gotta say that these are tricky to put on. Okay, so we put that through and then just put your o-ring on the other side. Okay, definitely tricky to put on, but once you've got them on, they're definitely not gonna be coming out of place. So now I'm gonna do this to the rest of the shocks and I'll be right back so we can install them on the truck. Okay, so let's get these wheels off. Okay, so let's get this screw out.
and then we're going to take the shorter screw they provide for the top of the shocks. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you guys installing the other two. I'm gonna get the other two on the truck and the wheels back on and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I'm done installing the shocks, the only thing left for me to do is to take it around the backyard course and go and give it a good little test so we can see how it performs. Now, I also wanted to say a massive thank you to RC All Wheel Drive for sending these shocks out to me to test and review. I will be leaving a link in the description of the video where you can get the shocks from. But so far, I am really impressed with the quality and the way the vehicle feels after installing them. So let's get it out. Let's go and give it a test. I definitely gained a little bit more articulation. So I think it's going to perform really well around the backyard course. So all I can say is thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.